so dehumanizing. It was like we were literally getting looked through. People were watching and seeing what was going on, and no one was helping. A plus size model is accusing a Hollywood hotspot of discrimination. The model called out the nightclub on social media. She says she and her friend were rejected at the door because of their size. Well, now she's going viral after sharing her experience. KHL 9's Candace Crone is live in Hollywood with her story. Candace. That's right. Well, two women were out for a night of fun when they tried to get into a popular Hollywood club and were turned away. Now, one of them uh, is speaking out, saying that the whole ordeal was a nightmare and that changes need to be made. It's traumatizing and it shatters a lot of girls' confidence. Ella Halikas is speaking out after she and her friend were left standing out in the cold after trying to get into a Hollywood nightclub. She says they weren't let into the highlight room last Wednesday because of their body size. So uh, we're not able to get let in as a thicker, curvy woman. Um, I just like to uh, watch this unfold. So just moments before, Halika says her friend Alexa J was near tears when the bouncer let in Jay's friends, but turned her away. By the second it got to her, and she's a plus size black woman, rope right in front of her. Halika says she tried to step in, but and he looked at me up and down and said the same thing, and he said not tonight. And it made me so upset because. How many other girls is this happening to? It was so dehumanizing. It was like we were literally getting looked through. People were watching and seeing what was going on, and no one was helping. The two posted this now viral video to social media talking about the incident. Halikas, who's a successful model and has made appearances in Sports Illustrated, among other projects, says she's received thousands of messages from other women who say they've experienced the same thing. I can't sit back and allow this to keep happening. I have a platform and I have a voice and I want to use it. We reached out to the highlight room. A spokesperson said they were aware of the incident and removed the doorman who worked that evening. The company says they do not tolerate discrimination of any kind. Halika says she embraces her curves and says more needs to be done so others don't have to experience what she did. I think bouncers need training, maybe sensitivity training. Now, the Tau Group, which owns the club, says that they reached out to the two women to talk about the incident. However, Halika says that they never tried to meet with her. Reporting live in Hollywood, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News. Thank you, Candace.